Welcome to my channel. It's underscore Gintu, G I N T U. Here I have uh, Madam here. Maybe she can just introduce herself here. Most lady, bro. Yes. <laughs> here we are uh, around uh, the construction of a new model uh, fish ponds here, where uh, we want now to interview and see how the ongoing of this project is just ongoing whereby we are now at 87% complete of the flying beam fish pond construction, which is the first fish pond it's just segmented into three. We have the big fish pond, the second one, and the third one. So the big fish pond here will just accommodate around 2,000 tilapia fish, which are the brood fish. We shall not install here fingerlings, we shall have the brood fish. So the second fish pond will just accommodate 500 to 800 Root fish and the third one, this one here, will just uh, we shall now choose which kind of a uh, breed we shall uh, install here between the turtles, okay. uh, the trout fish, okay. and uh, we have another brand of uh, the golden fish. Okay. So maybe you can just tell us which one of uh, the, the the three is uh, maybe is good and awesome for the installation there. For between uh, the third fish pond, we shall not put the tilapia fish there. No? Yeah, it's okay. uh, around, it's maybe the trout. Yeah. The trout fish, yeah. the golden fish, yeah. and uh, the tar the turtles. The uh, which one will be? Oh, the following will just be accommodated at the third fish. The turtle. Turtles. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you can just get the idea from Madam or the lady boss. Boss lady, bro. <laughs> <laughs> from this area, whereby uh, the flying. Uh, the beam fish ponds are, are just constructed here. So the only suggestion is the turtles. So we, anyone, uh, maybe my brother well, I here. I don't understand anything, so you can explain. You know? Okay, okay. About, the I don't know about I don't know a lot about fishes, okay. tilapias. I just tried it yesterday for the first time. Oh. It's an African fish, so yes. it's new for me. So what can you tell me about it? Okay, the tilapia fish, yeah. uh, these tilapia fish are uh, uh, top feeders. Okay. They are not the bottom feeders. Okay. So, and the aim of we investing with them uh, around here, the lake region, we are the lake region of uh, uh, the, as you know, the lake region is just around. So we are just uh, uh, called the lake region. So we install uh, the tilapia fish and to our ponds because they have that uh, capability to withstand diseases. That, that the tilapia will be one of the fishes that the African people eat the most? Yes, mostly it's okay. just the use because uh, okay. it has uh, that power of growth. Okay. So it has the high growth rate. Okay. Uh, and it's always uh, for the commercial purposes. If you want, okay. uh, uh, because we cannot install uh, the Nile patches because uh, the depth of uh, our fish pond, uh, they deal with high depths okay. of around uh, 10 meters and above. So it's a fish from river, like sweet water? No, it's not on the ocean, it's like on the river. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Because uh, here we are just going to install water that uh, will have a height yeah. of around 1.20 meters. Okay. Whereby it's not uh, as a huge or some amount of water so uh -huh. far, because uh, we want to layer something that's visible. Yeah. So it's something that you can just see. Uh, how they are just moving and okay. they are just leisuring onto okay. our fish ponds here. Okay. So, okay. Uh, more about them, uh, uh, about Ayamaro, how he told me the idea was uh, to ins uh, water should be clear. But uh, the possible reasons why we don't uh, leave water clear, it's yeah. from um, uh, the, uh, the visibility from the predators. Predators can just view, because our fish ponds, as we rare fish at our own fish ponds there, uh, we use uh, the cow dung, okay. uh, which turns water into green, okay. whereby that the green content is called the algae. Okay. Have you ever had something of algae? No. Really? no. <laughs> One time you might be at my uh, project there and see the algae. It's yes. the green content okay. that uh, is found uh, on top of water. Okay. So that algae, the tilapia fish eat the algae at their cycle of life. Okay. So uh, the purpose of uh, that installation of cow dung uh, will just facilitate, uh, uh, the, uh, the, it will block the visibility of predators to water so as they can just uh, be secure. Okay. Then you can just, uh, that algae even, you can just water your plants, maybe you have nursery beds, you can water uh, the nurseries using the uh, pond water. Yeah. So here we have the clear water, we shall not put anything uh, in terms of fertilizing the fish pond. Okay. So the water will be just visible for anyone. As you can see here, we are just trying to create a dike. 
okay. that is just uh, the pathway that uh, you can just walk around the fish pond. Okay. So you can just uh, uh, climb at the dike and you can just rotate around the fish pond okay. and view everything how it's just ongoing. Okay. So uh, here by now we are just plastering uh, the, uh, the uh, they are called uh, the beams yeah. and uh, the pillars yeah. that are just uh, beside the perimeter wall. Uh, at the perimeter wall there, we have uh, what is called the lightings. The lightings will be just colorful and uh, will bring the decor of this house. Okay. Uh, but the main aim of we in, uh, using this technique of uh, this fish pond here, it's not uh, because of uh, maybe it will, they, they will be eaten around here. It's for the family purposes, maybe. Okay. So you might be the stakeholder in terms of uh, the family business. So. The second reason of uh, this fish pond here is uh, uh, to uh, give that way that maybe people can just pass from anywhere trespassing towards the villa. Yeah, so, for security. Yeah, for security. Okay. So you cannot trespass from anywhere and access the villa minus you uh, going through the gate. Okay. So those are the two main uh, objectives that we installed here at fish pond. Okay. So maybe we can just go where the fish ponds there are. There is mud, so bro. We can test there. Maybe uh, we can just go around this. Okay. Pond. Yeah. Yes. Maybe this one. Uh, What about uh, uh, from your thoughts? How can you just say about uh, this uh, ongoing project? Maybe I like it. I really I feel like it's very very creative idea, especially yes. because it's security purposes. Yes. But I feel like it's also it's gonna look beautiful. So it's gonna. It will bring the decor. We'll bring, it will bring a very beautiful yeah uh, decor. Uh, uh, at this part where we are just. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, passing Both. through, yeah. uh, this place uh, will be just. Uh, we will just uh, uh, plant here some uh, uh, flowers, yes. which will bring uh, that decency of this area. Yeah. So this one, as you can view here, is the third fish pond we are just talking yeah. about. Yeah. This is the fish pond I asked you on what we can just install here. Uh, and uh, Madame Bose talked about uh, the turtles installation. So we shall look forward and uh, know more about the turtles installation and how we can just get uh, the breed of the turtles. So this one here, Madame, is uh, yeah. uh, the second fish pond. It's, yeah. uh, uh, six, it's around 70% complete. Okay. The only thing is that installation of uh, the inlet and the outlet pipes uh, that will just deliver water from. But the reliable water source is uh, at the upper area of uh, this fish Pond where they are, okay. but we want to bring that water from the spring source yes. towards the our fish pond where it is. But the fish pond alone doesn't contain any water. Okay. But we have to deliver water from the spring, which yes. will be directed towards the, uh, okay. the, the pond. Yeah. Okay. So this project is around 87 complete by today, wow. and uh, we are just uh, heading to just uh, uh, put one uh, beam which yeah. is just remaining at the far end there, yeah. so as we now levelize the pond and we install water so as we can now know where the leakages are. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. And for what I can see, it's very big, right? It goes all around? Yeah, it's all around that okay. far end. Maybe okay. you can just go there or uh, the place is just muddy. Yeah, it might. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's yeah. just a very sloppy. So this is how the ongoing project is. As we can see what I was just talking about, they're just clustering the, the, the pillars. Yes. So as a, 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 the use of a, a cement and a, a sand and a, a more of a waterproof is just a, used there so as a, it will now uh, resist in terms of water passing from the fish pond towards the villa. That's the main aim. So we have to make this uh, a perimeter wall very strong so as we cannot lose water to the villa yeah. where it will now bring chaos. So we have to be so careful and yeah. mindful in terms of uh, the installation of fish. Okay. Yes. Okay. So maybe uh, by time how it's just coming, I'll just introduce you where my uh, project is just ongoing of yeah. fish farming, yeah. so I can now show you more about uh, the, the the Athen fish ponds. We have the Athen fish ponds, yeah. and these are uh, these are unique one called the flying beam uh, uh, fish pond. We have cages, we have uh, the tank fish ponds, yeah. so there are many types of fish ponds. So okay. this is one of the introduction of fish ponds yeah. we are just going to launch so as the people can know more about the beam uh, flying fish ponds. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, madam.
Hey guys, you can now chip onto my channel. It's underscore Gintu. Maybe, Madam, do you have a channel? Maybe. I do have a channel. Yes, I have two channels. Yes. One is my music channel, and it's Roca Vereda Music. And the other one is the travel vlogs. It's Roca Vereda Travels. Thank you guys. Keep on locked, subscribe, and watch full length of video so as you can just enjoy and uh, you can know more about the construction of fish pond and know more about uh, the installation of fish. Thank you guys. Shout out.